Well, Josh, congratulations on your victory. It was a, a pretty incredible fight. Uh, give, give me your thoughts after putting on a performance like that. I don't know. I just have to go back and watch it just because <clears throat> in, my, in my mind it was, uh, I don't know, I'm a hard, I'm a tough critic on myself, you know. So I, was, I didn't get a move. I didn't get to do what I wanted to do. I used a lot of movement, lateral movement, and I really wanted to mix up the wrestling and, and do things. And I, I hurt my knee in the first, like, 45 seconds. So I, uh, I felt like I, I had to just stand there and, and play sock and rock and robots, you know, and just slip and rip. And um, I don't know. People are saying it's a good fight, I guess. But I, uh, I don't know, it's just I, I didn't even get to scratch the surface what I'm capable of. I, and a lot of journalists or all these guys that are always counting me out and stuff, I see everything. It's like I love it, though, because everyone's like saying, I'm going to lose, I'm going to do this stuff. I can beat anyone in the world, and and that was that was a horrible fight in my opinion. It wasn't, <laughs> but t talking about the the leg because it did seem like you were stepping pretty gingerly, like really early. Was there something from the leg kicks, or was it a step? What? what? No, not at all. It was a, the first. I think I overcommitted to a right hand, and I think he kicked my knee as I was coming in, and it hyperextended it. In the it had to be the first minute, and, and right when I went to hold it, and then I stepped back, and it just kept buckling and, and giving out. I've never experienced anything like that. I know it's on the outside, so I, I believe it's my ACL. That's just going through my mind. Um, but yeah, it's, so I couldn't move. I, I, I really couldn't. Anytime I would try to throw a right leg kick, uh, so I had all my weight planted on my left, it would buckle. Anytime I would lean over and throw uppercuts or I wanted to go to the liver a lot, I couldn't. It would buckle. So I just had to I just had to stand there and throw jabs and overhand rights. And, and the first thing going through my mind is like, okay, this hurts. I, I can't move. I'm going to have to adapt to it. Just like, I, I feel like I, my mentality is like my strongest part of my game. And, and I'm willing to go through hell. I'm willing to go through anything to get my hand raised. And I was just like, I'm not going home with one check. I was going to ask you about the mentality. I mean, you're cracking him with some heavy shots. And obviously, you finally dropped him twice in the third. But as he's taking these big shots, is there any part of you thinking, what's going on here? I know you believe in your power. And somehow, he was staying up. Yeah, I just I feel like if my uh, if my knee wasn't messed up, I really could have put it on him and, and, and went for the finish. But I was just kind of felt like I was kind of coasting and, and just doing things like that. But <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm just frustrated about my knee. I'm just so pissed about it because I I have to wait and get the MRI and see really what's going on. But I'm just thinking about that because I've been off for a year. Um, I I, I want to keep the the momentum going. I want to fight. Everyone's always talking about these other hungry fighters. I'm one of the hungriest fighters in the, in the UFC. I've never said no to a fight. I've never turned a fight down. I want to fight as consistent as possible, but nobody pushes me. They, they push and build all these other guys up. I can beat anyone in the world, so I, I hope tonight I can start to get some push. You know, I, I hope the UFC can push me, build me up, do something for me, instead of just trying to keep me as a gatekeeper keeper and and just fight all these veterans and tough prospects and up-and-comers like it's just it's just so frustrating to me but besides all that my I'm just frustrated about the knee you know I'm sorry you guys I... well, fair enough well last thing for me and I think once you watch the fight maybe you'll take a little bit more uh, enjoyment in it because it was good but uh, I guess the knee is really what it's going to boil down to but you're saying you want to fight ahead not behind are there names specific matchups that you do think make sense for you or can you even get into that until you know what's going on with the knee yeah, I want to see what's going on with the knee but I was saying, I felt like I'm two fights away. Shane Burgos is a tough, tough guy. Um, you know, I felt like I beat him. My next fight, I wanted to fight, like, do some type of title eliminator. Uh, I feel like I can compete with any of these guys. I, I know I can. You know, I, I train with the best team in the world. I have the best coaches in the world. Uh, everyone, <laughs> top fighters from around the world have been coming around. I've been with the team for over a decade. I know where I stand. And, and I still feel like I, I don't get to... Um, to showcase anything like you know I, I got injured so I just had to stand there and throw overhand rights and jabs Josh not to focus on the negatives but what exactly is the issue you had with journalists leading into this no I just, I, I'm just I, 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 I just see like I just see everyone just counting me out and like always voting against me and all the the under like I'm always the underdog it, like I like it it motivates me and, and my friends and fans love it because they're making a lot of money off me when they bet like some of some of the guys locked me in at like a plus 150 and then the line changes to I don't know what it finished that tonight but I don't know it's, it's there's politics and everything and people are biased and and, and 
they have favoritism and all this stuff. So I, I see it all. It's just it's just irritating to me. I just I just want a little push, and uh, I think I deserve it. And uh, it was always okay. Power versus precision, um, and I think per power prevailed tonight. I also have a lot of precision with power behind it. I know uh, you were saying that because of your leg, you felt like you couldn't hit him as hard as you perhaps normally could. But we've seen you hit guys with those sort of shots, and they go down almost every time. Is he the the hardest chin you ever fought? Um, n I don't know. Um, he's tough though. Yeah, Shane, is, he's a tough, tough dude. I mean, and maybe it's uh, attributed to his uh, his endurance. You know, I mean, he has a gas tank for days, and so I hit him, and I could, I would drop him, and he would like laugh as he's going down and, and give me props and say like hey that was a good one you know it's so I, nothing but respect to Shane his team and he, he's a good dude and, and he's going to do super, he's been doing super well and he's going to continue to do well and I wish him nothing but the best but yeah he's he's a he's a tough SOB congrats on the win thank you Josh congratulations over here to your left right. when you misstepped and injured your knee and then he started throwing some of those leg kicks at you were you worried a little bit that the fight might end because you can't continue? How much pain or, or concern did you have? Like I said, I'm willing to go through hell to get my hand raised. I will never cower away. I will never give up. You literally have to put me out. And I think you guys have seen it time and time before with some of the injuries I've had. I'm not like one of those fighters. I won't <laughs> I, I, I won't just sit there and, and want – you'll never see me want out of the fight. You, you know, like I know if I just cover up and they're hitting, hitting, and like – People want out of the fight. I will never do that. You know, I'm going to fight till the bitter end. Um, I'll bite down on my mouthpiece and I'll throw as hard as I can. But no, that never went through my head. Just the only thing that was going through my mind is I'm not going home with one paycheck. Absolutely. Because of the stupid knee. Speaking of the knee, what was the game plan and how would it have been different if your knee had not been injured early? I think I could have put him away in the second. You know, I, I, I was, uh, I could have used, is that messing you guys up? You guys hear that? I think we're okay. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I just, I used a lot of lateral movement. I wanted to implement some more wrestling. I wanted to uh, implement a lot more knees and kicks and things like that, but I, I, I couldn't, you know, I, I could not move. Um, so I, I just stood in the pocket and, and threw jabs and overhand rights, you know, and then I'd switch my stance and, and throw straight lefts or uh, overhand lefts, <laughs> you know. Absolutely. That was an amazing performance. Is there anybody that you'd like to fight next or any couple of people that you can mention that would Just be wh whoever's going to get me closer to the title. Definitely got to be top 10, though, now, right? Well, I, I'm in the top eight. By default, I would say I'm seven because Frankie's going down to 35. So anyone in the top three, you know. I always said, hey, I wanted to fight the number one contender. I win that, win that fight, then I can fight for the title, you know. So that would be perfect case scenario for me. But we'll have to wait and see what happens with the knee and then uh, talk to my coaches and team and manager and uh, kind of see what happens from there. Absolutely. I think for any media or journalist that did not respect your ability, I think you uh, made them respected here. Amazing performance. We'll see you in the next fight. That's true. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Thank you, guys.